In the insect sculptor, a skilled artist uses his mind to control and shape countless insects into beautiful works of art, but only if he can control his own fears. Please welcome Writers of the Future Judge Dave Wolverton and Illustrators of the Future Judge Val Lakey Lindon. The author of Insect Sculptor, Scott T. Barnes, spent most of his early life working on the family farm in Julian, California. He earned a BA in journalism in Spanish and an MBA and has worked in such disparate places as Mexico City, Mexico, and Paris, France. Please congratulate author Scott Barnes. was a great interpretation, so thank you for that. <clears throat> Way back in 1985, a friend of the family gave me a wonderful book, and I just loved the book. I loved every story in the book, and it was the very first uh, Writers of the first, uh, Future anthology. And, uh, one of the stories stuck with me for years. It was about a union of morticians who started a war in order, in order to get more business. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, kinda, I find it kind of plausible, actually. Uh, but, uh, I knew, after reading that book, that someday I would enter the contest, and someday I would win. And, Unfortunately, it took me until I was 38 to start entering the contest and start writing every day, but I guess I needed to grow a little bit. Um, and there are so many people I should thank, the organizers of the contest, L. Ron Hubbard, of course, the fantastic instructors <clears throat> and the judges, and my, my mom and dad who are here, and my wife. But I'm a storyteller, so I'm going to tell a little story and try to keep it short. Um, so the, the book, of course, has been a wonderful inspiration for me and that wonderful story. But uh, a, f a couple of months ago, I took my two daughters to a park to have a picnic. And one of my daughters is about a year and a half, and the other is three. So the, the youngest one was off trying to learn how to walk. And the oldest one was eating my carefully prepared picnic, which was a happy meal. And, uh, <laughs> She pulled out this toy and she said, Daddy, what's this? And I looked and to my astonishment, it was a storybook character. And I said, well, that's Hansel. She said, who's that? I said, well, I started to tell her the story of Hansel and Gretel. And I couldn't remember all of it, so I had to make up parts and embellish it. And, um, but her eyes were getting bigger and bigger. And her mouth started to slump open. And most astonishing of all, in her fingers, a french fry dangled, forgotten. <laughs> it's true. So I, I tried to make it as long as I could, and when I finally finished, she said, Daddy, Daddy, read me another book without the book.
So that is my inspiration now and for forever to come. And I'd like to get, dedicate this win to inspiration for all of us. Thank you. Good evening. Are we having fun or what? John Haverty, illustrator for Insect Sculptor, was born in Massachusetts and earned his BFA at University of Massachusetts Amherst. Before reaching his 23rd birthday, he managed to visit 34 countries spread over five continents. Lately, his works have been exhibited in a number of galleries. Now, John lives in Savannah, Georgia, where he is earning his MFA in painting. And if you ever go to a gallery opening and his name's listed, please be sure and see his murals. They're fantastic. Please congratulate artist John Haverty. Well, what an amazing week this has been. It's been uh, quite an experience, and I am so honored to be here accepting this award tonight. Uh, I would really like to, well, uh, sorry. Thanks to Author Services and Galaxy Press for all their hard work. Thank you, judges, for taking time to review my work and many others. Val, Ron, Steve, Cliff, it's been great knowing you guys. Uh, really enjoyed this workshop. It was a pleasure seeing your artwork. Finally, I'd like to say thanks to my parents, my family, and friends. I would never be where I am today without all your love and support for my dream. Thank you. <laughs> 